I am Adil Kumar sharing with you solution of a trigonometric equation in quadratic form. We need to solve 2 cos square x minus 3 sin x equals to 0 where x is between 0 to 2 pi. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now since this equation is in cosine and sine, we have cos square that could be written in terms of sine square right so the first step here is to use the trigonometric Pythagorean identity which is sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1 to write this equation in sine so we could write cos square x as equals to 1 minus sine square x right substituting this value in this equation we get 2 times 1 minus sine square x for this cos square x minus 3 sin x equals to 0. Let's open the bracket. We get 2 minus 2 sin square x minus 3 sin x equals to 0. If I multiply everything by negative 1, we get 2 sin square x plus 3 sin x minus 2 equals to 0, right? I always prefer to keep this coefficient, the leading coefficient, as positive. Now, we are looking for factoring this particular equation. So, product is 4 minus 4. The sum is plus 3. So, 4 times 1 can work for us. So, we could write this as 2 sine square x plus 4 sine x minus sine x minus 2 equals to 0. Let's combine the first two terms. We can factor 2 sine x getting sine x plus 2 minus here we get sine x plus 2 equals to 0. Now sine x plus 2 is common factor and we get 2 sine x minus 1 equals to 0. So that gives us two possible factors which could be 0. So one of them is sine x plus 2 that could be 0. The other one is 2 sine x minus and equals to 0 since their product is 0. So this gives us sine x equals to minus 2 that gives us sine x equal to half. Now sine x has values between plus and minus 1 so that is no solution right? for this particular thing. Since the range for sine x is between plus and minus 1. But here we do have a solution. So let's figure this solution out. We are looking for the domain which is between 0 to 2 pi. That means one full circle. And we know that sine, we are looking for half positive. So sine is positive in two quadrants. All are positive here and sine quadrant 2. So first and second. Sine x equals to half reminds us of a special triangle which is pi by 6, pi by 3, right? So pi by 6, pi by 3, pi by 2. The sides of this are 1, 2, square root 3. We're looking for sine which is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So we're looking for sine x equals to half, which is opposite over hypotenuse, which is pi by 6. So, so x is equals to pi by 6. Now this gives you only one solution, which is in quadrant 1. How do you get the other one? The other one has to be in quadrant 2, right? And the other one, angle this is 1 pi by 6. The other one is pi minus pi by 6. Correct? So the other one is pi minus pi by 6 or 5 pi by 6. So x is equals to pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. So in this particular case, we get two solutions. And these, when we write in this form, are exact solutions. So we can write down the answer as x equals to pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. Great. 
So that is how you can solve this particular equation. Now here is a question for you. The question for you is same equation but I want to change the domain. I want to change it from 0 instead of 0 I want to make it minus 2 pi to 2 pi right. So that means you have to add few more solutions correct. So I'd like you to extend the solution so that it includes the modified domain which has been increased from minus 2 pi to 2 pi that level right so redo the whole question rather you can work out your solution within this domain i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best